How's it going, guys? It's your boy Mike from Seattle with Michael Zuber on the One Rental at a Time YouTube channel. And what we're going to be doing this morning is reacting to a video sent to Mike by a subscriber who wanted his opinion. And it's on Dave Ramsey and Dave Ramsey's response to what the Fed is doing and has done to muck up inflation and mess things up in our country. So we're going to take a look at this video and get started. Mike, are you ready? I am. And again, uh, what, what always happens with these reaction videos is I do not watch them ahead of time. So I will be taking some notes and giving my off the cuff reaction. So this is not prepared. I have not seen what we're about to go through. So this could be interesting. Perfect. Let's do it. So uh, Jerome Powell of the Fed is ready to bring some pain to households and businesses, quote unquote. These are the unfortunate costs of reducing inflation. Powell said that the market will have to weaken before inflation be, can be considered under control, and these are the unfortunate costs of reducing inflation. A but failure to restore price stability would mean greater, far greater pain, while higher interest rates, slower growth, and softer labor market conditions will bring down inflation. They will also bring some pain to households and businesses. The problem is he's wrong. <laughs> That's the other problem. Where did this inflation come from? Inflation increase in prices. Okay. We've talked about this on the show before, but let's talk about it again. Inflation in this case did not come from a white hot economy that the economy just grew and grew and was too much prosperity. God help us. The inflation that we had was what we're calling inflation, and it is inflation. It's an increase in prices, was primarily caused by a couple of things. When you don't produce goods and services for a half a year or a year, you create a shortage of those goods and services. When you create a shortage of something, 100% of the time the prices go up. Did you notice toilet paper? Interest rates being low did not cause this inflation. Shortages caused it. We just established that. So interest rates being high does not fix this inflation. Okay, so that was his first half of the video where he kind of sets up inflation and what caused it. So he says, Jerome Powell's finally ready to inflict some pain to try to fight inflation. He says, higher interest rates, slow growth, and soft labor market will bring down the inflation. But inflation, in Ramsey's opinion, inflation was not caused by a white hot economy and too much prosperity. Instead, it was caused by COVID shutting down the economy and creating supply chain shortages. Mike, what do you think of that first part so far? So again, thank you for doing this. I haven't watched it. I'm, I'm, I took a bunch of notes. So again, just totally off the cuff. So, um, so one of the things that Dave Ramsey is saying without saying it is inflation is transitory. That's what he's saying. Uh, I think there is um, some truth to that. There is no question uh, that some of the inflation that we are seeing now is because of, of supply chain issues. That's still bad. It's, it's still a problem. Um, I happen to come from the Milton Friedman uh, you know, kind of economic perspective that inflation is and has always been a monetary phenomenon. So I think, well, I think one thing uh, that I think Dave, I, I don't know if he's missing or maybe it, maybe it's in the second half, but we, we basically created eight or $9 trillion out of thin air and we shoved it into the economy at the same time that supply was lit up. So that is inflationary. Also, um, let's realize that in the housing market where I play every day, uh, we uh, forced interest rates under 3%. We originated something like $4 trillion in refi money. That's inflationary. So um, I, I think he is right and then incomplete. I think he's right. Some of the inflation we're seeing is supply chain and will work itself out over the next six months. I think he I think that is also called transitory. If people wanted to, I think he is not given enough acknowledgement to the fact that rates were so low for so long that just people started churning assets and taking out more debt. Com companies companies took on debt to buy back stock because debt was so low. So 
anytime that interest rates are slow, so low, you get bad behavior. And um, again, if 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 you look at a, a circle like a hundred percent, I don't know what Dave would say. It sounds like he would say sixty or seventy percent of this is supply chain related. I don't think it's nearly that much. And again, I'm purely guessing of what he would say. I I think. 20 or 25 percent is supply chain and the rest of that is too much money chasing too few goods mm -hmm. uh disrespect for risk i mean the fact that crypto the fact that nfts the fact that you know all of these things skyrocketed in value out of nowhere robin hood meme stocks are you guys not freaking paying attention <laughs> that only happened because there was too much money chasing too few things 100 percent a bubble Michael Burry says it's blowing up right now. I think yeah. he's right. So um, I guess I don't necessarily agree entirely with Dave's opinion in that first clip. Okay, let's uh, let's watch the last section of it. And for those of you out there who send us videos like this, you know, I get a 10 minute video sent to me for the sake of the videos that Mike and I make. I, I have to try to cut it down to two to three minutes max. So if I miss a key point or takeaway that you wanted us to react to, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the actual thesis of the message as quick as I can so we can react in time. But let's get uh, let's get on to the second part of the clip. So, I mean, seriously, if, in, if low interest rates did not heat up the economy and cause this inflation, then it is fairly easy to establish that high interest rates are not going to slow down the economy in the way you want it to. The way you slow down the economy is you get the supply chain working again and you turn the stupid green off at the White House and get the pipeline flowing again. You know why gas was $2 under Trump? It's not because Trump's a magician. Because all he did was say, drill, baby, drill. Yeah. That's all he said. It's the exact opposite. And there's a, there's a glut, a, an oversupply of gasoline. Oil went negative, but gas at the pump was under $2. Yeah. Does anybody? That was 20 minutes ago, y'all. Do y'all not remember this? And, and no, Trump can't, he'll strut around, take credit for it, but he didn't do it. Right. It was just, he let Chevron do their job, let Exxon do their job. Their job is not woke virtue signaling. Their job is drill for oil. Right. That's their job. And they're good at their job, by the way. They can produce the crap out of it if you leave them alone. Hmm. So, it, so the way you fix inflation when there's shortages is you help the companies not, you help the companies under production, not, not raise interest rates. But these bozos are raising interest rates, and they're going to slow down the economy, but they're going to slow it down in ways they don't want to slow it down, and then it's going to be hard to jumpstart it again. Seems like they're going to crash. They're, they're going to, they're, it's just going to, it's just, no, it's not going to create a crash. It's just dumber than crap. <laughs> wow, dumber than crap. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, Mike, so what's your take? And then I'll ask some follow-ups. Um, so, again, I think there's a couple of things in that, um, you know, uh, if you if we just hit the big one up front, right? Again, it, supply and demand kind of undefeated. If you want if you want lower gas prices, uh, you need more supply. I mean, why do you think strategic oil reserve was tapped in a million bar barrels a day? They're forcing more supply on the market. Why did President Biden go to you know Saudi Arabia or wherever he went to beg for more oil? Because he wanted more supply to drive down prices. Um, I don't think it. I don't think it is right or left to say that. Uh, Trump was drill, baby, drill, and Biden is not, right? You get what you get, right? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, there's some absolutely some truth in that. But again, I think he, I think Dave, he was angry in that second clip. I don't know that I've ever seen Dave that angry. <laughs> I mean, he was, he was angry. Um, whether he likes it or not, Jerome Powell cannot help Chevron drill for oil. It's not only not in his mandate, but he doesn't have the power to do it. Jerome Powell's tools are very limited. So Dave's anger, frustration needs to be aimed at Congress, not the Fed. The Fed can't do squat to get more oil, uh, get more manufacturing, get more this, get more that. They can't, they can't do anything directly on the supply chain. When you look at the supply chain and what the Fed can do, the Fed can only, as a second-order derivative, impact demand. So the Fed, right or wrong, is going to create what, I, what is called negative wealth effect. He is going to scare consumers. He is going to see unemployment go up, which is going to drive down demand. 
the Fed, that's all they can do. Whether Dave Ramsey wants to scream and yell about drilling for more oil, the Fed can't do that, buddy. Sorry. That's not where they play. They have no... They. I'm sure Jerome... By the way, Jerome Powell's a Republican. A lot of people assume he's a Democrat. He's not. He's a Republican. I'm sure if he had the authority to sign oil leases, he would, but he doesn't have that. It's not in his not in his area. So I, um, God, it was, it was, it was, I mean, again, I haven't watched a lot of Dave's stuff, but I've never seen him that angry. Man, that was, I got, that was intense. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. He was definitely all high, uh, fired up about that one. So really the key takeaways that I was getting from him. And one thing before I, you know, lay into Dave, you know, he does the three hour radio show. I got an eight minute clip. It's possible. He went on to elaborate. It's possible. He Maybe, talked about yeah. it earlier. Know. You know, I'm not sure. Um, but it seemed like a very, uh, narrow-minded one answer for the problem well we've got inflation the way that we're going to get rid of inflation is by releasing the supply chain and letting them drill baby drill and and, and that goes across the board for everything if we get we want houses to come down in prices we've got to build more houses now to a certain degree that's correct if you can increase the supply you can bring prices down but to your point that's not the that's not within the Fed's ability to do. They can't that's Congress. It's funny you say that because Milton Friedman I watched his hour long presentation at four times he makes that exact point. Hey! It's not on our next clip, but he makes that exact point. <laughs> like I like I know what I'm talking about. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it, it, to me, it almost seemed, it almost felt like Dave's in the middle of trying to do some real estate deal and these increased interest rates are like ruining his deal. And he's pissed <laughs> off about it. Yeah, it's funny you bring that up because again, I believe Dave Ramsey owns $600 million in real estate and I think it's all free and clear if, if what you read online is correct. Right. But yeah, it, I don't, it's really funny because that was exactly something I was thinking when he was ranting near the end. I'm like, doesn't Dave have no debt? Why is he all fired up about rates? It, shouldn't, shouldn't this, <laughs> shouldn't higher rates actually have him sell more courses and more books, money makeover and all of that? I'm like, why is he so agitated about rates? Hmm. I did have that thought. I'm like, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You see, this is a little close to home for him, right? Yeah, now. I guess it felt, yeah, exactly. It felt like it's impacting something he's working on. I'm like, wouldn't higher rates help, Dave? I'm not sure why he's so upset. I, I think his initial point where he said, well, low interest rates didn't cause inflation. So high interest rates isn't necessarily going to get rid of inflation. Well, that, that might be true. Um, but uh, I, I do disagree. Or I agree that high interest rates might not necessarily get rid of inflation, though I think it probably will help. But he totally forgot, as you mentioned earlier, the fact that while we had supply chain shortages, while there was all of this, people not going to work and things weren't being made, we also pumped the economy full of trillions of dollars worth of stimulus money. And then we're dropping rates to combat the flash crash that occurred during COVID. Rates were falling through the floor. And so, as you said, we did so many refinance and pulled out fake equity out of houses that people could then spend you you put that trifecta together and of course the cherry on top is going to be now we're going to forgive student loans and so i have a question for you isn't forgiving student loans isn't paying 20 million people's loans off ten thousand a pop isn't that just another form of stimulus and can it have any other effect other than more inflation uh there is no there is no question every study i've read every logic is this is inflationary Anytime you take someone's debt or expense and you waive it, delay it, make it go away with a magic wand, that is capital that was allocated for something that now can go elsewhere. The consumption of the course, the class, whatever has already happened, but the payment hasn't. You make that go away, that money or currency or wealth can be spent on something else. So absolutely, it's, it is without question inflationary. No question. Well, I think that was all we had for the Dave Ramsey clip. Hopefully this uh, satisfied that YouTube commenters uh, need for us to respond to it. And if people have more videos they want us to react to, please send them to me on Instagram. Link a comment down below with a link to the video. I'll find it. I'll clip it up and we'll let Mike react to it. Mike, thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. This is These are a lot of fun for me.